let's have a look at architect applications if you're watching this video you probably never heard of architect or architect applications so first of all what is architect this is actually a standalone product so we have ecognition developer ecognition architect and ecognition server if you have a developer license then you have architect already included in the developer but you also can purchase architect as standalone product and if you have architect you can configure and run applications that were developed in equation developer this means you cannot create a application from a rule set using architect you only can open and execute and, and configure an application that was already created by someone using eCognition Developer. What is an application? An application is a reduced user interface including an action library and a solution with a rule set running in the background. A user is guided through a workflow which is defined or which he can alter actually and can tweak settings of the rule set which is in the background. So the user doesn't see the complex rule set the user only sees a graphical user interface as you see here on the right hand side and an application is based on so-called actions and an application can have more than one action can have multiple actions and those actions they communicate with the rule set in the background those actions can contain sliders buttons text fields so any sorts of widgets that interact then with the rule set for example you can define a and DVI value here by a slider and then hit execute and that's going to communicate to the rule set and use this threshold that you've defined here in this widget. You can group actions to different groups and yeah um, if you have multiple actions and you want to save them that is saved as an action library. So we have the application which is the whole thing. Action library is a collection of all the actions that you have defined or that are defined in the application and yeah those actions can be grouped and you have the widgets which uh, the user that created the application defined and those widgets communicate with the rule set in the background to put it in a nutshell a architect application is a simplified user interface which hides the complexity of a rule set and uses those actions to communicate with the rule set in the background so the user only sees those buttons and actions that were predefined. And we also have solutions. So the workflow is actually, first of all, if you already have an application, right? If someone provided you with an application, you load the action library and then you load a solution. If the solution file, this DAX file is already in the same directory as the library, the action library DLX file, then it's gonna open the solution automatically. And a solution is simply a definition of the order of the actions that are defined in the action library and also includes the rule set. So in the action library, you could have 10 different actions and the solution simply defines the order. So you have a fixed order defined in the solution. You also can, if you load the action library, simply add the actions and sort them as you like. And also the solution, depending on how it was saved, you also can move those actions around. But uh, usually if you have a solution that is a predefined workflow, so it's starts with loading data, then creating objects and so on, as defined by the creator of that solution. What is an application? An application would be a, a wrapped solution and an action library. So if you put the solution into the action library and make sure it has a certain structure and you use that folder and copy it into the installation directory and then uh, set it up correctly, you're gonna get an app icon when you start Ecognition Developer or Architect that you can choose from. So for each application that you have, you can put it in the certain uh, directory, in the installation directory. And once you start Ecognition Developer or Architect, it's gonna pop up as an app. You select it and then it's gonna open it automatically. So you don't need to open the actual library and so on. But Again, have a look at the next video where I show how to open a solution, action library and application and I'm gonna show it there in detail. 
If you open such an action library in Ecovision Developer, you have access to the rule set if it's not encrypted, right? So what you see here is you see the process tree with the rule set and then the analysis builder where we have our actions. And actually those actions are connected to the rule set in the background and provide a simplified user interface. So you're not seeing the rule set, right? You're seeing those actions with the widgets. I mean, that's the case if you open it in Architect. If you open it in Ecovision Developer, you have access to the rule set and you can alter the rule set and alter the actions and change the action library, right? If you have Ecovision Architect, you can load an action library and a solution and you can change the order of the actions and add and remove actions from the workflow here. And the communication between the actions and rule set, this is done by parameter sets. That's not gonna be topic in this video, but I'm gonna link you the video where you get more information how to create such an application within eCognition Developer here in the top right corner. And here a quick example of how the oil palm application looks like if you load it into eCognition Architect. It looks identical if you load it into the developer. And you see here we have a predefined workflow and you also cannot alter here the order of those actions. First import data, I loaded a file already, I confirm it. Next step is load defined blocks and that was all defined by the person developing this application. Save, so I created a bounding box where I wanna focus my analysis on. Utilize elevation data. I don't have elevation data. Next step, detect and analyze palms. I'm simply gonna leave uh, default settings and run detect palms. And in the background, you have a complicated rule set, right? And this interface allows you, even though you're not an eCognition developer expert, to run this rule set. Now we have palms detected. Let me display the view settings. just to change the color and the size. So those are the trees that are detected. And you see here in the application, here the widgets, we can play around with the sensitivity. We have sliders and the VI threshold and so on. I'm gonna lower this one, rerun it. And yeah, then you can continue. Uh, hit save and so on, right? So that's how a application can look like in eCognition Architect or eCognition Developer. Have a look in our knowledge base. We do have already some examples loaded there. And if you yourself have an application that you wanna share, let us know, drop us an email and we're gonna load it and also share it in our knowledge base. So other eCognition users also have access to that application. All right, that's it. Thank you very much for this one. Have a look at the next videos, uh, looking at how to create a solution, how to load it and so on. And enjoy using Ignition Architect Solutions.